I tried to get Brittany to get a minivan. Allison came close last year to deciding on a she minivan. Was, I used to say, I mean, whenever I was young, I said I never would do it. And then I did two. And now I'm on my third. Third minivan. Are we rolling? Oh, it's. She's. Uh, Hold on. Uh, yeah. Now she's regretting. She's like, I get it now. I get the minivan. Because them boys weigh about 24 pounds. I know. They so when you pick them up into the Yukon, you yeah. you better mean it. It's up there. Yeah. You push the little button and the door just slides open. It's And you don't have to go it. up. Corey's up back. Well, welcome back to the duck call room. Oh, yeah. We're rolling. We Look have there. a guest. I got my headset on. Good. We have a guest. It's we're, We just ate breakfast all together. With it was nice. The Yeah. Corey, you didn't have any, but Corey didn't have any. We all had the new eating it all the time. I got breakfast sauce. We had the new breakfast sauce from our (laughs) friends over at W Sauce. It's good. I I don't know how you rank breakfast sauces because this is the only one that I know that's called breakfast sauce. There's those little packets of salsa. I'd give it a nine out of ten. That one's better. It's good. What's a breakfast sauce? See, See, it's good. Delicious. That's what it is. So good, you'll want breakfast all day. That is true. Oh, well, there you go. I'm taking a bottle with me for lunch. I could eat breakfast anytime. I right, so for dinner. We had the Lord's chicken up in here for breakfast. Hey, Amen. Mm. Praise be. I just sent out a weird text last night because I've been texting bring food every time, and Beth finally she did. That was awesome. That's because so. I. Was you got to ask the Canadian. That's, that's but I you got to make sure the boss is coming <laughs> to get those kinds of delivery. Like if that would have been Goblin sitting there, she's smelling. Like, nah, oh, man, tough luck. But. Boss comes. Sh- oh yeah, we'll, we'll we'll roll out the red carpet. We're so next not, week we're gonna have Willie on. We're not allowed <laughs> to eat chicken biscuits in front of Godwin. Now that would be rude. Godwin smashed a double cheeseburger the other day, sitting right there. Don't let him fool you that he's like Uh-oh. bought in. Yeah, to- yeah. he off yeah, he's the never has any what's fun. He doing? Yeah, well he's a diabetic. Or he's got yeah, the I diabetes, so he's. I mean, I bet that was the only thing he ate all day. He's lost a ton of weight. He though. has. He's, he's the incredible. Great. He's the incredible shrinking man. But when I walked in, he had that Sonic bag and wrapper right there, and just smashing a double cheeseburger. Sometimes <laughs> was, you got to do that. And Sai si, si even comment on. It. He said, "Ooh, that one's juicy." No, <laughs> well, yeah, because it, it was just dripping while he was eating. I said, "That one right there." <laughs> I was pretty good because I like it. and I looked and I was like, well, I guess we're anti-plan now, but you know, whatever, it's fine. Had to but get back on track. So, Corey, you finally have reached the enough grandkids to own a minivan, huh? Midlife. Number six, number six, yeah, midlife crisis. I bought a minivan. <laughs> you have six grandkids. I have six grandkids. Yes, that's wild. That yes. Is and wild. I did. I have been okay. The first time around, when I had four kids, I was like. Not going minivan route, and then I went minivan route, and I loved it. And then, you know, as the kids got older, moved out of the minivan phase, but I'm back. You're back in the minivan. Back. back. You have as many grandkids as my mom. Yeah. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) I ain't that. That's a lot of. But you have you have children all over. True. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Your mom's only got two kids. That's true. They've yeah, got. we got six. We're you're gonna, have, we're gonna have a lot. You're of on the path to like yeah. twenty grandkids. I'm on the path to fifteen passenger van. Yeah, the yeah. minivan's not going to do it. Yeah. People yeah. mover. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Corey's going to be looking into used church vans here for yeah. a while. One hundred percent. No, she go get. You know those like so what, they're called people movers, like the buses. Yeah. She's going to yeah. have that except instead of like the church youth group logo, it's just going to say. Willie and Corey Robertson's entire family. Hey, yeah. I'm not opposed to that. Just I'll, the I'm Robertsons. Not That's all it needs to say. Just the Robertsons. Like, mm-hmm. just go in. I love it. That's fantastic. Minivan is the way to go. I'm just going to tell y'all. It's, okay. Gas it, mileage. Minivan. Minivan. Those doors that slide open. Minivan. You're never going to hit somebody else's car when you park in the tight spot. You just slide the door open. Minivan. Kids can run. You press the button on your thing. Door slides open automatically. Minivan. Yep. We're, we have to. Get I need a car. minivan sponsor. I've seen them pull a boat. I've seen them at the boat ramp. Have so you? they can do more than minivan. they're giving credit for. It's true. I'm gonna have to. I just can't else. ride that low to the ground. I, that's what I don't like. I don't, I don't like the feeling of I'm going to go under something if, if, if all <laughs> heck breaks loose. I could be up well, under. Uh-uh. You've been bigger than most people my whole s- life since 
you know, I'm not trying to pre-K. Doubt. You don't you don't want to get used to being looking up. Yeah, I, I don't want to doubt. I won't go down, and I, I'd rather get closer to See, God. I'm like, not a very good parker. That's my problem. Like bigger cars, parking, it just it's not good. It's I've come in crooked, which it, even in the minivan, I'm not great actually of a parker. But John, Johnny D's laughing, cars, but he parks in the back parking lot when he comes. You can't park that big <laughs> Well, so Allison needs a new car, so we're kind of looking. But geez, Louise, but Allison's car, the TV leaks and stuff. So there's some problems there. Wait, how does wait? How does the TV leak? Uh, if it rains, the TV starts leaking. I I don't ask a lot of questions, but it still works. And so we're we're you know we've had. We've had young kids for like 10 years now. So that car will be 10. We'll have 10 years like in a few months. So it's like we're just riding until the wheels fall. Oh, yeah. And if the TV works, TV works. And like there's, you know, stuff growing in the back seat where Carter sits and all that. But <laughs> So you don't want to like get something nice until you feel like you, you can, your kids can take care yeah. of it. Yeah. Okay. So let me tell you about my minivan back whenever our kids were little. I had, we had a minivan. We drove it. We paid it off. Actually, it's, it was weird. This was weird. This was a weird deal. We thought that we had another year of payment. This was miraculous. Somehow, we thought we had another year of payment on it, and we got the notice that we had paid it off, which we were like, weird. We thought we had another year. Okay. Thank you, God. Okay. That happened. Then we got some, like, hell damage, but it really wasn't bad, so we got the insurance money for it, and we didn't fix it, because we were like, you know, it's really not that bad. Hell damage. So then... Roll with it. <laughs> then, like, this was like God's blessing. Then, then we we take it in to t- trade it in, and somehow they gave us, like, a really great trade-in on it. And we, we knew the guy that, you know, had done it or whatever. We traded in. We got a new minivan. And he, he called us later and was like, I found two dollars and thirty four cents of change in the DVD thing. Our kids had been like <laughs> putting putting quarters and dimes in the DVD player, and it was so bad. We wore that thing out so bad. We drove it for like all of our kids' young years. Oh yeah, and so it's probably like your car described. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. Maybe that's where the TV leak is. Maybe you got four or five dollars up there. Yeah. No inflation. It was two thirty then. You may have yeah. more. Yeah. You never know. So, what's your philosophy on vehicles? Are you oh, no, kidding? Same thing. I have I've one. picked him up in that old Bronco so many times off the side oh, no. of the road. <laughs> that thing always was dying. People was always helping me out on the road. Yeah. But I, I finally took it to Red, and I said, Red, I got a $100 bill if you can fix this stupid short. You know, it keeps quitting on me. You know. It's five minutes he brought it down there to the fields. You know, and talking about I, I said, well, what was it? He said, I was under your floor mat. He said, you had done, you know, just from getting in and out, it wore it out. And then when it hit each other, it, you know, it stopped. So $100 did it. Well, it was just, you know, he said, oh, hey, give me like 10 I said, what did I tell you? I said, here. That's back before you had $100, too. Oh, yeah. What are you talking I about? I mean, that was a lot of money to you. I remember that. No, no the first car I bought, the uh, distributor. You know, the, it's got a uh, cam on it that lets the uh, points open and close. Mm-hmm. But, hey, as soon as you crank it up, that burn off. <laughs> okay, yeah. so it didn't open and close, and it would <laughs> run like a scalded eight. You just full open. No, no, that's like Corey said. That was one of God's little, okay, yeah, I'll take care of that for you. Yeah. yeah. Make it run without it. Yeah, when we were still working down at Phil and Kay's, I always went the path that Cy went just in case I had to pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's true. And, you know, I I stopped several oh, times oh, yeah. on the cut through <laughs> because there he was just sitting there with his tea glass out the window like he's waiting on me to come through. And I mean, this, this is a wild. man, okay, and this is a man that, you know, you need to have a phone when you're going places in case something breaks down. Well, they won't work for me, so, hey, no phone. No, no phone. But so you, just, just, you, know, you got hey, good wait. buddies that travel the known yeah. path. So that way you're not stra- left stranded. Yeah. You know? wait, wait wait, till somebody shows up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, That's well, let's fantastic. take our first break. We'll be back right after this. You don't have to choose between better hair growth and your health. There's a holistic solution for men and women also that promotes both healthier hair and whole body wellness. Of course, we're talking about Nutrafol. Look. It wasn't around when my hair got to going, and by the time it, by the time we got here, and Nutrafol was around, it, it, she, she, we done. We've already that ship sailed. Everything's fine. But what is really cool 
is Nutrafol makes a postpartum um, line that Brittany has started taking because I didn't realize this. I, I guess one of them things you don't know because you just don't know it. But women, after they give birth, man, they their hair starts leaving. Like, I'm talking about leaving. Like, we used to have dog hair in the floor from our dog. No, it Brittany hair. Like, so she started the Nutrafol postpartum deal. It is really cool. It, you can actually... I mean, I live there, so I can noticeably see less hair on the floor, which means it's working. And it's actually given her a lot of confidence back. She actually finally went and got her hair done because she was so scared to like just to even have somebody do anything to it um, because it was falling out so much that that she just she wasn't comfortable. But now she's went and got her hair done. It has dramatically slowed the postpartum hair loss. So she is fired up, gives her more confidence in herself and that is something that's invaluable you know as guys that are married like your wife got confidence in herself that's a big deal Nutrafol is the number one hair growth supplement dermatologists recommend it's trusted and recommended by more than 3,000 top doctors Nutrafol's hair growth su supplements use physician formulated natural science backed ingredients so it's drug free it's patented and it gives you reliable and consistent results <laughs> And guys, if you are taking it, it's not going to compromise your sexual health. I can honestly say that hasn't changed anything on Britney's either. So, Praise you know, God. there's hey, I can give you all I can give you is what I can give you. If you go to Nutrafol.com, take their hair health wellness quiz. It helps you identify the causes of your thinning hair, and they give you a personalized plan for better hair growth. So basically what they're doing, they're treating it from the inside and not just the outside. That's the cool thing. It's, it actually makes your whole body healthier and when your body gets healthier, your hair stays. It's a cool deal. It just works. Look, in a clinical study, men show progressive improvement in hair growth and visible thickness after three to six months. But don't take our word for it. Give it a try. Take the first step to visibly thicker, healthier hair. For a limited time, Nutrafol is offering our listeners $10 off your first month subscription and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol.com slash men and enter the promo code DUCK. Find out why over 4,000 healthcare professionals recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair. Nutrafol.com slash men, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L dot com slash men, and enter promo code DUCK. That's Nutrafol.com slash men, promo code DUCK. The only time I ever wanted a minivan, though, was whenever we, because we got the, we ain't got the bucket seats. And when our kids were like one three and six or so they were just all three right in a row hitting each other fighting so you got to space them need out. some separation oh yeah. the, the, yeah. the three in a row thing i said allison i think those were be referred to as the dark years <laughs> like you couldn't go to church without like you were having to repent once you got there <laughs> oh, it was awful <laughs> i remember those years one time actually driving to church just driving through the parking lot and just kept going and just went right back home. I was like, that's it. We're not. <laughs> oh, hey. Just we're done. We're done. We're not, even, we're not, even, we're not turn, even getting no. out. Yeah. I just drove straight through that parking lot and right back home. Was that John Luke and Sadie or was that Bella and Will's fault? I think it was all of them. All, all of them. four. All I, four in the car. I would guarantee time. you, just from my knowledge of them, Bella and Will were involved. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I, I feel very confident <laughs> in, in that it's assessment true. that those two were involved because as much as they loved one. each other, Oh, man. They had to get on each other's nerves because they knew what to do. They, they grew close. up together. They were so close in yeah. age. Yeah. Bella button. could hold her own against Will. She oh, 100%. Push yeah. that button. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, because Bobby didn't have a mean bone in his body. He just big teddy bear. So yeah. it was it was funny to watch, though. Good night of living. Oh, man. Speaking of that, there. what kind of grandfather is Willie? <laughs> He is such well, a I sweet know he grandfather. Loves, he loves to mess with kids. He does. Okay. Well, okay. So with the, kids, with the kids, he would go a little too far. It always like end in somebody crying because yeah. like Willie would just like yeah, didn't know when to stop. Them, so you could put that. He does the same you, thing you know, to adults. Too. I was about to yeah. say, with employees, <laughs> Willie goes a little too far and somebody starts crying. Like, <laughs> yeah. fill in any kinda, down there at the uh, end. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. But he doesn't do that with the grandkids. He's so sweet. There like, you go. No, he doesn't. He's really like fun with them and tender and loves to just play honey loves him so much she sits beside him on the couch and they are so cute together they're a little pair so he looks like your husband i hate to say that he looks like he's really right now I guess he is prime and is really enjoying life. He <laughs> is. Did you just this say you hate true. to say that? No, no, but I'm just serious. <laughs> yeah. Willie, yeah. No, no, Willie is a prankster. He's the worst clown we got in the darn family. It's true, true, true. Okay. But he's so much, 
you know, I enjoyed all the episodes I've ever filmed with him. Uh-huh. Me and him had a yeah. a, a bond. Y'all did. Well, we were good together. That's we true. We really were. That's true. Yeah. Y'all are. You know, but Y'all are. He, right here lately, though, is he looks like he's, uh, I think, the happiest I've ever seen. That's so nice. I would agree. No, no, no I'm serious. I think so. Yeah, so trying to get Cause y'all, I, I, I really felt sorry for you and uh, <laughs> you and Willie and Phil. I, I thought you were gonna say you felt sorry for me because. Yeah. Well, no, no, because I, I felt sorry for y'all because y'all y'all meet each other, y'all. Yeah. You're yeah. always going. That is yeah, true. We are going. in a phase of always going. Willie is traveling and speaking everywhere, but yeah. he is loving it. No, no. He really is. He's. Yeah. He's he's loving it, and he's softened a little. I think around the edges with the grandkids, so that's been fun to see. Well, he's yeah. world famous for nicknames. Do any of the grandkids have interesting oh, Smock- nicknames? Smockerton from Smockington. Well, he yeah. got that. He got that. <laughs> he got that naturally from his dad. Uh, okay, nicknames, Phil ain't that's never true. called anybody by their name. That's I was true. just wanting Corey to list true. them like the Seven Dwarfs. He got Smocky. <laughs> Smocky makes Smock- Smockerton. Yes, that's Shep because he wears a little smock clothes. I went to Honey's birthday party and I just sat outside with Willie just waiting for kids to run by so I could see what he yelled Hear at. Hear the nickname. <laughs> First, Ella, Smocky makes Smockerton. <laughs> poor Ella. Ella has the worst job of the Ella because when she was a baby, she kind of had the job of the hut. Look, she was just like so chubby and just like laid there so <laughs> she's job of the L. <laughs> <laughs> poor thing nothing like the love of a grandfather <laughs> poor thing oh, job of the L. zane is juju boy i don't really know why he's juju boy um um holland is gg because zane was calling her jj well willie wanted to just like annoy zane so he calls her gg and he's and Zane's always like, no, it's JJ. And he's like, GG, just to annoy him. Shocker. And, um, <laughs> We're not learning anything here, folks. It's all what, what does he the call course. Honey? I don't know. I don't. I, that's why I was legit curious because now he's got yeah. Honey and Haven. So I didn't know if he had been around Haven long enough to hang her with one yet. He, but it, he, won't no, it won't be long. <laughs> it won't be long. It won't be long. Will not. Nope. And the good thing is he doesn't have a very good memory, so he'll forget it. No, 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 that poor no he kid does not forget anything. Not a thing. Anything. Not nothing. <laughs> I mean, not one. There was a one of my nephews. He called Fat Boy when he was little, oh, and he really wasn't boy. even fat. But he's he's like tall and thin and an athlete, and he well, he still calls him Fat Boy. No, there was a kid one time we were out to eat somewhere in town, and there was a guy that was our waiter, and I knew him from childhood. And Willie goes, "Oh, mud in his butt." And I was like, why did you just call him that? He goes, because when he was five at Camp Gioka, he yelled, I got mud in my butt. And literally hadn't seen the kid in a decade and saw him and then called him mud in his butt. <laughs> I was like, at a, in public. Yeah. I was like, Willie. <laughs> well, I will give him this. He won't say anything in private. He won't say in public. So. That's, That's the true. truth. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Don't worry about him talking about you behind your back. He'll say it directly. No, he will. He'll say it directly true. to Sometimes you. Sometimes he'll even call you just to say it. It's like, oh, man, I was just talking about you. I'll let you know what I said. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. That, that's good. That's All right. true. Yeah, but y'all that have means fun. he loves you. <laughs> <laughs> he shows his love by nicknames and, you know, oh, love picking it. on you just a little bit. Just well, if, they, if they don't pick on you, they don't care nothing about you. Amen to that. It's actually true. Amen to that. If it's just y'all, no, no. When he if saw you're him, picked on and they're always pulling jokes on you. Hey, they really care about you. When he saw True. when he saw my kids at your birthday party, he just started dying laughing, and I was like, "What they do?" And he said, "That's the two biggest heads I've ever seen on children." I was like, "Well, did you think they were going to be little?" That's right. I'm their dad, like, you idiot. Like. Oh uh, yeah. Exhibit A. Yeah. Like, I, I'm, on the, I'm on the I'm on the last button here. Yeah, your so. dad had named me Horsehead. Yeah. Knucklehead. Uh, oh Horsehead. He did. He walked around the corner and just started dying laughing. Not even hey, nothing. <laughs> he ain't even said nothing. Yeah, I was like, what what's what's so funny? I mean, I don't and he said, Those are the two <laughs> biggest heads I've ever seen on a kid. And I was like, Oh yeah. Well um. you know. Their mom's very glad for a C-section. I'll, I'll say that. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. she's very thankful. Very thankful that option exists. So, Oh, that's funny. It's wild, man. I talked to Christian yesterday he, for the first time since Haven has arrived. He come up here. I said, well, how's that second one? <laughs> <laughs> Numero dos. Yeah, he said, it's a lot. I said, yeah, you should have got him right out the chute like that, buddy. I know one of them's easy. Like, 
the, one of them is not bad. It's that second one that throws a wrench into things. Yep. You're like, yep. golly, man. If I could just keep the one, because you can always keep one happy. That other one, though, 50-50 shot on 50, keeping it happy. 50. Like, man, it's just... And I know Sadie had a C-section, too, so, like, Christian's having to do it all. And yeah. Like, pick up honey, do all the things. That like, it is different, yeah, yeah, because the recovery is different. You can't pick up oh, yeah. your, your two-year-old. Yeah. Can't do yeah, nothing. That's hard. Like, yeah. for a couple of weeks, you can't yeah. do anything. Can't drive, can't do anything. So yeah. So, it was like, And oh, Sadie's man. not really one to just sit, either. So, mm. about day eight... I could tell it was wearing on Sadie. I was like, all right, we got to get out of the house. Like, oh, that's when y'all to... come up here. Yeah. Yeah, because I was we came, like. We came to Duck Commander. Oh, yeah. I was like, hey, new baby. <laughs> I, was just I, was like... Like, I was like, I'm going to Duck Commander. Do you want to come with me? She was like, yes. Yeah. I was like, come on. <laughs> Let's go. I was stunned to see her. I was like, man, it doesn't seem like that long ago she had that. Thing. And, and to see, hey, I see the baby, that's, of course. So tiny. My boys now are like 20 four pound man they're giants are they that big oh yeah they're they're wow. they're jackson's 20 like 23 and a half and wow. wayland's about 21 both yep. of them about 30 inches long That's yeah he's, and he's they're big. they are big y'all know i'm a nerd you are i, I i'm a self-admitted nerd <laughs> and a busy, I like, I, a busy nerd at that a busy nerd at, but i got kids coming it's been a long time since i've been in school but so, if you wanted to go back if I do want to go back, and I will have to refresh something, because guess what? I will be smarter than my children. They are not gonna, they're not going to whoop me. So the cool thing about that is that Hillsdale College offers you the chance for free education courses right online. You don't have to be a student in Hillsdale. You can sign up, take free online classes just to refresh things. They got history, economics, literature. The meaning of the U.S. Constitution. A lot of y'all need to go take that one right now. Ooh. Ooh. They're probably not our listeners. Quit y'all preaching. got it down. Yeah. Uh, but there's some cool religious stuff on there. Uh, so if you want to go learn more about the Bible, like the book of Genesis on there, that's a pretty cool, that'd be a pretty cool class to take. Get you a little better grasp on that. Look, and Hillsdale didn't just pop up. They've been around since 1844. That's yes, 1844. Long, were you, do you remember that? Uh-oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hillsdale College has been providing education in faith, freedom, and character because they believe that a virtuous citizen is the best defense for liberty, and that that's the truth, right? Like, if you don't love the country, then why are you going to worry about it? Like, so that's what they're after. That's why they've taken some of the core classes they teach on campus and made them available for free online for anybody who wants to learn. That's right. It's for free. The Constitution. C.S. Lewis, Book of Genesis, World War II, you name it, they got it. Free market economics. So if any of these are sounding interesting to you, some of them may even intimidate you a little bit, then let Hillsdale be your guide. Look, over 3 million people have taken the Hillsdale College online course. There are 39 free courses to choose from. Easy to follow, self-paced, so you can start when you want, end when you want. Do it on your time because time's all you got. You can enroll now in Hillsdale's Not For Credit online courses program. It's free, it's fun, and it will change the way you understand our country and world and your place in it so right now you can go to hillsdale.edu slash duck to enroll there's no cost and it's easy to get started that's hillsdale.edu slash duck to register hillsdale.edu slash duck okay let's talk about snakes though Uh oh because you know i normally trust you Uh uh-huh and your assessment of snakes Mm -hmm. but you know that snake that was killed by our pond Uh uh-huh and we sent the picture. Yeah. Water did, snake? No. 100%. No. 100%. That, that was not a water snake. 100% a water snake. Okay. <laughs> I, I I consulted Google. Oh, okay. I'm side with <laughs> oh, Martin on this one, yeah. <laughs> yep. You're going hey, down I, here, Corey. I, 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 I'm rooting for wife. you, but I'm, my wife would have done it. But hey. You I know how you can check Google. You can like let it scan the picture. And it, no, it said mm-hmm. copperhead. Wait, I, copperhead? No, what? Wait, what cotton mouth. Cotton probably. mouth. Cotton mouth. Yeah. yeah. It, uh, it was a water snake. Uh, uh, for anaconda. I don't know. Hey, look, if I don't he's know. A, if that and it was a big. I want to believe you. But it was a big one, and like did you I see don't, that head? I, I did, and I saw his <laughs> I saw his eyes with his little round pupils, which is the dead giveaway. Send it to me. I'll put it. Wait, up. eyes with the okay. I need. To if it's got that. a cat eye, he's venomous. If he's got a round pupil okay. like we do, I've never heard that. Mm-hmm. I didn't now, know now that. you got to get close to him to see that. I've never heard that either. Huh. I'm not well, getting that the, close. I didn't know. Yeah, that. if they got round eyes like us, yeah. they're they're harmless. Okay. Unless 
unless it's a coral snake, but coral snake you should know. You know coral snake. Oh, yeah. Red on yeah. yellow, yeah. killer fella. Yeah. Red on black, friend of Jack. All that good stuff. Okay. Oh, but if you, it really I, has I, killed a few snakes. But if you snakes, look at unidentified I, brown snakes, and if his eye, his pupil is straight up and down like a cat, he hurts you. That's good the, to know. But now, granted, you got to get you close can, to yeah, see his I'm, eye. Yeah, yeah. Look, I made the mistake. I thought I had a hog nose snake, and I'm holding it and I'm playing with it. And then I look at it, you know, I'm, after I've had it a while, and he's yeah. crawled all over me. Yeah. I'm oh, like, no. huh? Oh, oh, I just oh. I caught that eye, and yeah. I said, huh? Oh, this one ain't. Yeah. And it was a pygmy rattlesnake. Whoa. But of course, he didn't bite me. He Whoa. didn't. He didn't mess with me. He you was were, cool. You were lucky. I was. You're yeah. a crazy and, person. And I'm, a mild set of panic set in while I, once I realized yeah, it I, because I've got him. I'm yeah. like, I'm, I'm holding him. I'm like, yeah. okay, everybody, just be easy. There's nothing to panic about. Just get me something to put him in. And so I put him in a cooler and then took him to ULM. And now he lives in a jar because it was the first documented one in Jackson Parish, Louisiana. So it's like, my wife, me and my wife, yeah. me and my wife watched TV last night. She said, hey, have you ever heard of this? And she brings up a picture on her, uh, you know, this thing. You it's know? a computer is what he's computer. pointing at people. <laughs> and look, hey, here's a deer, a doe, a female deer. A snake. What? Yeah. Hmm. Ready? She's done ate, the, ate him down, you know, like this far. Ate his head and just, you, know, you, you see the bone. She's, you know. And then another one, it showed a picture of eating one, and that one was a rattlesnake. I don't know. No. Hey, no. deer are essentially goats, so don't tell me what they will and won't eat. I mean, yeah. you know what a goat will eat. Oh, yeah. Anything, Anything. you put in front of it. So, like, I, that doesn't surprise me. No, it doesn't. Huh. Well, I'd never heard of it before. Me neither. I didn't know that. Now they don't have to worry about it because the pigs eat all of them. It always goes you know? back to snakes. That's so weird. Ain't it? It's fun. Oh. You brought it up. Not me. No, no. Excuse me. Good tea. I watched one eat one one time. What's that? Out in a while. Pig was rooting around, come up on a cotton mouth. Got him. And hey, as he was chewing him, he just pop, 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 pop. And the pig just still just chomp, 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 chomp. Hey. Well, now we all have those things we eat that we know is going to hurt us. Y'all, rem- <laughs> Do y'all remember Wilfer? Oh, yeah, the, the pig. The pig Willie got for his birth, 50th birthday that was like that tiny and he's, cute. He's giant. He is giant. He was supposed to be a miniature like house pig. No. How, whoa, he whoa, is whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, he's done grew up. Oh, I'm out. He's grown up. You didn't see him at your birthday party? <laughs> right, I went right. over there to the petting zoo just to see him. No, I wasn't paying took, no took attention. took the boys. Hold on. Right. He is giant. What is a house pig? <laughs> I, <laughs> we just glanced over that. He was supposed to just be a house pig. Like, is that a thing? Well, like Most a of us call that bacon, but no. That's right, like yeah. a pet, miniature little pet pig. People that you have keep them. inside? Yes. Yes. Oh, he, yeah. We oh, live in the house. You can call him. Like, he is, he's actually really smart. You're supposed to be able to, like, house train him and everything. But we didn't get that far because he literally ate everything everything in the house so we decided he needed to go live at the farm and so then we're gonna at eat the him farm now and he is that big i can't we're wait not, to see that. willie's return gift to bill for that one i remember <laughs> when bill walked up that deal toting a pig i was like uh-oh who gave it to him bill busbus yeah oh. and the whole busbus family for his 50th birthday yeah come walking up that party he had that pig under his arm i was like Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> he was like, really cute, but that's what happens when you get hung with the name Boss Hall or hang yourself yeah. with that name, I yeah. suppose. Boss Hall. <laughs> I think Adam LaRoche came up with that name. Yeah, Adam started the Boss Hog thing. Yeah, Willie kept it going because he liked it. Oh, he, Willie, he liked Willie that. was into that nickname. Oh, anything gets him to wear a white suit. Yeah, <laughs> uh, he's anything he's costume related. Yeah. True. Speaking of white suits, uh oh, and your husband, do you like his mullet? You know, well, I should say baby mullet. You know, I actually don't mind it. I really don't mind it as much as I thought I would. At first, I was like resistant. I was like, no. Well, you know what? I actually, I'm not really for, but I might be coerced. No, I might be on the bad side of this. Going back to the bandana, I feel like the bandana was a time period because he had the long hair. It made sense. But I don't really get the bandana now Uh-oh. with short hair. I bet he says the same thing about your minivan. 
<laughs> a lot of times we revert back to old, you know, to the glory old times of our lives. That's true. So. That's true. <laughs> he's just reliving the glory days. Now that he's got the mullet, he thinks he needs the bandana again for some reason. And I'm like, I, no, that doesn't. You don't have to have that because I know he's not going to listen to this. I'm totally on your side. I can't figure out the bandana. Every time I see him with the bandana, I'm like, I don't. What's that holding back? Right. <laughs> see. I'm, I'm with you. I'm still right. trying to figure out if his hair is actually that curly now or if he perms it. So, <laughs> no, and it I wouldn't put curly. it past either. So, No, it is that curly. Like, Willie's the type of guy that would go get a perm just oh, because. No. You know? Well, uh, and he has he spent did more time. He his hair for a costume party. Yeah, and he spent more time at the barbershop in the last year than he has in his entire oh, prior life. His whole life, yeah, his whole life. I mean, he went once between age 25 and 45. <laughs> And since 45, he goes, he's like, I was talking to him the other day, he's like, yeah, Friday, I got to go get my hair cut. And I was like, this is weird. I don't like this. I don't like what we're talking about. Yeah, and he was complaining about how much it costs when he first started going to get his haircut again. It's like, good night. I'm like, bro, you're still way up in the in the haircut fund. You're still way ahead. True. true. Yeah. Well, we'll see what the mullet becomes. Right now, it's all right. It's not terrible. Have you seen mine? Nice. Yours is that's that's a mullet. Yeah, it's full on. What, is, no, what does Allison think about it? She hates it. <laughs> she hates it. But I did catch her uh, looking at it the other day, and I said, "You're into this now, aren't you?" And then she like she was like, "No." I was like, mm -hmm. "Reliving the '80s, babe." I was gonna say I was a you know child of the '80s, so I'm kind of you know back to the glory days uh, again. Here we go. Corey, it's my midlife just... crisis: minivans, mullets, <laughs> minivans, and mu that could be the title of your next book. Perfect. Mini bands and mullets, a grandma's story to relive the glory days. Tagline, Corey Robertson. That's it. Man, that sounds like a That'll name for sell. a good bar. <laughs> like mini, mini bands, bands and, and mullets, man. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Like, we specialize in day drinking. I love like. that bar. <laughs> it closes at 8.30. <laughs> <laughs> bottomless mimosas baby somebody's uh, about to get rich off this idea from listening to this podcast mini vans and mullets that is, that's a great like brunch name i, I i'm i'm not opposed do to it that, martin no do i'm it. not doing it i just i think it, i would go there yeah i would 100 percent go eat there but i would go oh, yeah I, i'm in because i'd bet mini vans and mullets i'm <laughs> interested those are my people i mean I yeah. like that's me yeah right here there. we are yeah. like and so so here we are yeah let me have the let me have the eggs benedict please <laughs> like oh man well let's take another break we'll be back right after this martin you know what i'm doing right after this what you doing huh? i'm going to work but you know what i'm gonna do right when i get to work what's that sit down and have one of them factor meals are you they're what's so the, good what's on tap for today oh i got one of them uh shredded chicken taco bowls Ooh, so good yesterday good i had the grilled chicken a la vodka which was some sort of tomato sauce on some zucchini noodles well i gotta eat another one today because I got the thing to do tonight after work so for dinner right before i leave work i'm gonna put in that spicy poblano beef bowl it's a good one. It's it's the most convenient way to just have food. It just ships it straight to work. I boom, I got it there. I ain't got to get in the truck, waste gas money, spend more money in a drive through. I just have it shipped to me. I heat it up, boom, and it's it is delicious. I, I've been eating them. This is not a lie. This is not some plug. I have bought and paid for since you've heard the first time we did this ad, like in March. Every week since then, maybe even February. I'm going out of town next week. Get on the app. Pause. I don't need this week, so they won't ship it to me. Then when I get back to work that next Monday, boom, I'll have all my lunches planned out. It is wild, man. We ate them for, we ate the factor meals for, I don't know how long. When the boys were like unmanageable where you couldn't, you needed something good to eat. Yep. But you had, you were feeding them eight, nine times a day. You know, it was just, they were, they were very convenient and they're very good. And for the first time. And they're time, healthy. For the first time ever, a meal you warm up, I was sad it was over. Yeah. Like, most of, most of them things you just kind of power through. Like let's They're never frozen, so yeah. you, they're just cooking for you. You heat them up. It's delicious. There, there's literally something for everybody, whether you're, you like, even if you're a meat eater, you like chicken, pork, steak, shrimp, they got it all. Um, you can even go upscale if you want to, surf and turf, surf and surf, roasted garlic, filet mignon and shrimp, Cajun spice, shrimp and salmon. You name it, they got something for you. Like, what's weird is I still, 
even with that, a lot of times I just pick based off the side because there are certain sides I really, really like. And really they're, good. They're, they're side, their Brussels sprouts that they do, their little charred Brussels sprouts are fantastic. The so. app's so easy. And you skip one week if you're going out of town. But look, then you come back, there's 34 options right there that your chef prepared better than I could probably cook it, dietitian approved. You get to pick the ones you want. And it's you can get boom, boom, boom. You can add stuff on. You can get shrimp. Uh, you can get you can get little breakfast bites. That bill you can, you <laughs> What's you talking about? You can get jerky. You can get you can get smoothies. shakes, smoothies. You name it, they, they got, got it. it. It is wild, and I'm telling it is good. We've talked about it a bunch. We always end up talking about food on this, but this is a good one. Factor. It'll change your life. I mean, it really will. It's cheaper than you can go to any fast food joint. Um, better for you, hundred percent. So if you're looking for some convenience this summer, give Factor a try. If you do want to give it a try, all you have to do is head to factormills.com slash duck50 and use code duck50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code duck50 at factormills.com slash duck50 to get 50% off your first box. The movie is, it's like here. The movie, yes. We're all watching it like. What movie? Next week, the movie. The blind. There it is. The you just blind. called it the movie. I was trying to teach just because you're in it, you don't have to refer to it as like, oh, yeah, it's just this little movie. One of the stars. Did, did my lines get cut? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was so nervous. I was like, I probably this is not gonna make it. I I can already tell, but nobody would ever tell me. I can already tell. The good news is that she was prepared for that question because well, that was a very quick yes. Yeah. Not at like, least, oh, I think no. Yes. Uh, well, I'm hey, sure. I'll say that at least you your whole scene didn't get cut. I feel bad. There were you know movies. I did not realize how this works exactly. Like you film a lot, just like television. You film a lot, not all of it makes it, and so certain like scenes and actors whole things don't make it sometimes yeah. so at least you're in it i'm still in it you're still in it but i don't yes. talk mission um, successful I think you might say something oh no you, i feel like i don't know if it was you something like did you did you say the line did you say do you know the guy whose property this is did you say that? Who said that? It's hard to remember. Okay. It was a very long, grueling well, day. Of you had see, that many we'll lines. We'll see soon. I had three. That's here. what I'm saying. Like you had, you, okay, you were you were that know. involved that you can't remember one Buy of the, the three. DVD. It'll be in the deleted scenes. Bonus footage. <laughs> Here's the deal. You're gonna see it soon because yeah. we're all gonna watch it. Yeah, with we're the coming. Uh, like that's in what. Next weekend. 12 days. Yeah. We're going to all watch it as a family. Oh, I I'm going to be that, so nervous. I may have to FaceTime. Wait, where are you going to be? I'm having a procedure done that Friday, yeah. so I'm not sure. Oh, I'm yeah. not sure. No more twins. Where, no where, more. No more babies for you. Not biologically. Wow. No. no. So okay. I, I don't know where I'll be. Okay. Also, He's using no, my I'm not rescheduling. I'm, I've made this decision. I'm ready you're to do it. it. I just want to get it over with. I want to rip that band aid off. But that's by um, Sunday night. I mean, you're good. You'll be fine. I hope. You sure. you get you a large Coke Zero and just put it right there between your legs and sit there and watch the movie you'll be fine why has it got to be coke zero okay dr pepper <laughs> it just needs to be ice oh, something that's, cold that's what i would do. i was about to say i didn't see that anywhere on the protocol sheet coke zero like what are what are we doing here like, that's what i would do but yeah by sunday i was fine but it was also during covid so i milked that sucker i was like i better take it easy for a few more days <laughs> Make sure there's no problems. <laughs> I want a sandwich and a pizza for dinner too. So. <laughs> yeah, and I can't I'm walk. In bed. It, I can't walk in the kitchen to get it. <laughs> yeah, I know. If I do, it'll end up like a basketball. Uh, How do we get been, here? I've already been there. So. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah it's true. you're good. You had that procedure. So, but We've the movie seen Martin with ice between his legs before. Yeah, I mean it happened. I thought. That's yeah, it happened. All right. <laughs> oh, so sorry. We're, we're the movie. Back. The movie. The blind. We're gonna watch as a family, which I'm gonna be really nervous that night because this will be the first time for the whole family to see it. I mean, everyone's seen little clips, and each clip that we've shown, everyone's been like bawling. It's been so emotional. And this will be the first night for people to see the whole thing. So I'm excited, and we're giving away winners to come watch it with us which is really fun do we know who that is yeah yet? have we ch i don't think we've chosen the winners yet i don't know when this is going to air but if, yeah. it, if we haven't chosen it go to theblindmovie.com and enter to win because we're bringing a family of four here to watch the movie with our family and if we how have long, how long did they finally cut cut it down what how long does it last 
it's I think an hour and forty five minutes. Okay, so that's the perfect movie. Perfect time. time. Perfect time. PG thirteen. Yeah. PG thirteen. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if it's gotten the rating yet, but it will definitely be PG thirteen. That's one thing I that saw I do. The PG I, that, I saw that online. You saw it on something. Okay, so it already has that. Correct. Yeah. Well, that's one thing that like I think people do need to know. Like this is the true story. Like so, it's not Duck Dynasty. It's not yeah. just like. Fun and funny, and <laughs> it's not know. Duck Dynasty oh, at all. It's not Duck Dynasty at all. This Size is, character is a little different. <laughs> this no. is the hard years. This is the hard years. Yeah. But the story and the power of Jesus is clear. The power of Jesus coming into somebody's life and changing your family forever is very clear, and it's really powerful. It's so good. Sai, si, Sai's in it. Sai's getting them chill. Sai's over getting them chills. I know when he rubs them arms. It's it's going to be powerful. We're excited about it. He's and getting emotional right now. Look at him. The Look at that. The interviews that they got me to do for it, y'all, you know, they was asking me, and I, you know, I teared up. And I said, well, you got to understand. I said, that's my brother's life. I said, how would you like to show all your dirty underwear to the world? Mm-hmm. Everything you've ever done wrong. Yeah. Here it is in living color on TV screen, on a, on a uh, movie screen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah. said, so now, I said, number one, it, it is going to be a powerful story, okay? And like uh, Corey said, okay, this is this is someone's true life, mm-hmm. okay, to, during the hard years. Yeah, I would imagine for the kids, yeah. it's like extremely difficult oh, no. like, because they're reliving their childhood, which, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of us are like, yeah, take me back to childhood, but if your childhood was that... Mm-hmm. It may not be something you want to well, revisit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it may be like, I don't know about going back there, but it's. Um, yeah, it's not going to be easy for the family, I think, to watch. But well, um, it's a great story of redemption. In though. the end, in the end, it is going to be 100 percent worth it. And the people that have already seen it and the ways they've been touched by it has been powerful already. So I cannot wait to see. If you go to like if you go to the YouTube, we have like a trailer on the YouTube, a teaser trailer of it. So you can go watch and, and if if you haven't watched it there those are listening, go watch it. And then just read the comments. Just how the trailer has touched people's lives. I mean, it is really incredible. So we're so excited. It comes out September twenty eighth. Another thing that I did want to tell y'all, everybody's listening, I did not know this about movies, but so the amount of pre-sale tickets you sell determines the amount of theaters you're in. So, like, we need a lot of tickets. Like, if you are planning on going to see The Blind, go ahead and buy your ticket now because that will help us get into more theaters. More people will be able to see it. So, we need, like, our whole, everyone who's listening, everyone's watching to go ahead and buy a ticket, buy a ticket for your family, go to your church, buy group sales, do all that now because that helps us get into more and more theaters and um, get the word out even bigger and better. So that's crazy. We need your help. It's crazy that y'all finally got Phil to agree to the movie. Is what it's still kind of like shocking to me. Phil tell you about it in person. Mm-hmm. He he don't hide nothing. But for him to agree to it to be brought back to life, yeah, that was a big step. That's a big deal. Like, that's a different thing to see it on yeah. the screen. It is. It's a different thing. But you know, he said from the beginning, he was like, if one person gets to know Jesus because of it, then it's worth it. Yeah. So same line he had about Duck Dynasty. And that's, yeah. And that's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a that's yeah. a pretty much slam dunk guarantee on that. Yeah. Um. I'm about, now I'm nervous. I just this hope is gonna we, be good. Is has I Phil think a lot it? of people are gonna see, you know, see a lot of their life in it. I mean, I think it's gonna it's gonna connect. A lot of people have stories like Phil and Kay's stories. So I think a lot of people are gonna see their life. Have they seen in it? it? No. No. They've seen a couple of clips, and they both cried on the two clips we showed them. Of course, we showed them the most, you know, yeah, probably the most impactful moments. But um, no, they have not seen it. So oh. I know. I'm very excited. Let's just hope uh, other thing, because we do believe in the power of prayer here. Let's just let's pray for Kay. Yeah. That she she's there on time. <laughs> I didn't know. The, where she's in the hospital right now. What? Yeah, if you she's got MRSA. So her her oh, her no. wound has developed a, a a resistant type of staph infection. So she called yesterday. She was of course K. Okay. Mm-hmm. She yeah, was she being called. K. She was in great spirits. I don't know when they're gonna let me out of here. 
<laughs> you know, she said, I knew better Martin. to come up here. I was like, okay, this is, you're, you're where you need to be with this one. Like, this is, yeah. you need IV antibiotics. That's what, you just stay there till they tell you you're good to go. So, before she yeah. hung up from Willie yesterday, she said, yeah, well, call me back in case I'm going to die. <laughs> That is the num. When people ask me if I miss working for Willie, I will only tell them I miss Kay calling me. Where's my son? Where's Where my son? He? Are you with him? Are you with yeah. Willie? That's right. He won't Where answer he? me. And then we'd talk for thirty minutes, and I'd get to just giggle the whole time. Oh man, she's she's, she's the best. rich now. Yeah, she was just she she had to tell everybody up here. Of course, we were like, okay, we already knew, so it's it's all good. How'd y'all know? I'm like, you you told Anna. Like, come on. <laughs> like, of course. And then Anna said, "You want to see a picture?" I was like, "Yeah, I do." Okay, no. yeah. yeah, and I, I did, and I said, "Yeah, that's a big deal. It's, that's that's, that's a good one." Doesn't look good. It doesn't look yeah. good, but they got her in the right they place. They caught her, so. caught it in time. Yeah. yeah, everybody say a little prayer for Miss K that she gets over a little staph infection and that it stops right there. But um, and pray for the movie because and the, it will change people's lives. Phil, Phil's story's already changed. A lot. Millions of people's lives. I think that's fair. Juncture. Yeah. Um, Whether in small ways or big ways, tons of people in big ways. So pray for that because it's going to be super impactful. I'm excited to see it. I'm glad I'm not speaking. (laughs) But no, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. I'm super excited. Well, Phil's sister, Jan, is a big part of the story because she never gave up on Phil. She's she's a, I don't even know the word, you know, if it wasn't for her. He wouldn't have come to Jesus. Wow. Yeah. She never gave up on him. Okay. Because she drove, she drove our elder, who is in heaven now, Bill Smith. Okay. She wouldn't get off his back. <laughs> okay. You need to preach my gospel to my brother. And that was when he was running the bar. Yeah. Okay. And Bill Smith, really, I, you know, I love him. and he was, But my personal opinion on that is, that's the reason he went in the bar to talk to Phil. Is that yeah. Jan was not going to leave him alone. Jan wasn't gonna she leave. didn't give up. She yep. wasn't. No. Because mm-hmm. I looked at the rest of the family. Okay. And I mean to the man or woman. The rest of the family had done written him off and told Kay, hey, you leave that sorry human being and get on with your life. Wow. There's a scene in the movie okay, where me and you, me, me included. Yeah. Yeah. There's a scene in the movie where you go talk to Kay. Oh no. Yeah. Because see, she when when I would go out with him, she felt better, but it wasn't. It didn't do no good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because mm-hmm. all it was, it was bringing me into the, mm-hmm. and, you know, put me in a bad situation. But it made Kay feel better. Yeah. Yeah, but that's just y'all you know, not. That's why it's you need to go see it, okay? Because I've I have people when I preach to them. I hate to say this. That last thing they tell me is, "Well, Uncle si, I just can't see this God you're always talking about." If you watch this movie, you can see how God took a man, okay, that was on the wrong road, okay, and that that did not care a, anything about his neighbors. Nothing. And you can see in this story where he meets Jesus, Phil does, okay? And it changes his attitude toward himself, okay? And then toward his neighbor. It changed him from what I call a hard man who didn't care about nothing, including himself. And it took him and changed him into a loving man, okay, that cared enough to tell everybody he'd come in contact after he'd come in contact with Jesus about who Jesus is and what he does for us. You know, it changed his whole attitude. It changed his whole life. It changed our whole family. Mm. Okay, and when I look back, I can see all the times that Jesus was carrying me, okay, because them are his footprints in the sand. They wasn't mine. I was asking, where are you, Lord? And he said, hey, you don't realize that ain't your footprints, dummy. That's mine. I've got you in my arms. Mm -hmm. So it's a powerful story, okay? And the best part of it is 
it's it's true, harshly true. Okay, so it's going to be, uh, everybody in the Robertson family will be in tears, no doubt in my mind, okay? Because I've seen the trailer, and I was in tears, you know, very good talk. Yeah. Bring your tissues. Hey, I see it in you right now. So Bring no, no, no. Tissues. Yeah, because it's, yeah. it's starting yeah. well up oh, yeah. I, now. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I just oh. love the fact that Cy, even 50 years ago, was still in charge of troop morale. <laughs> troop just morale. Him, just him being there made Kay feel better. I tell you what right now, Cy, every time I'm with you, you make me feel better. So, well, you know. No, no, so I, I appreciate that. Because we all got our roles, right? That's Yeah, that's all God's doing. Yeah, 100%. Okay. Because there's many a times that I was just as bad or worse than my brother. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So it's, it's, uh, yeah. You know? We've all been different levels or different times oh, yeah. of brokenness everybody, in our life. And that's why I think there. everybody's going to relate. Yeah. Everybody's going to yeah. relate to the story in some way. Absolutely. Well, let's get into some emails. Johnny D, you got. You got oh, anybody went by that face? Huh? Yeah, this is the good times having fun. Well, uh, we don't have much time, but I need to get Corey's opinion on an email we've already answered a few times uh, because I feel like it's important for everybody to chime in on this one. And I just want to see if Corey agrees with Godwin uh, mainly. So, Corey, we got this email from Aaron from Oklahoma, and he's in a bit of a situation. There's a girl at work that has a major crush on him, and he likes her too. How could there be a problem? Well, here's the problem. She's the physical type and likes to show her affection by roughhousing. She's, she's playful. I call her playful. And playful, by roughhousing, okay. she <laughs> randomly slugs me in the arm, give a kidney punch at any given moment. And here's, here's the kicker. She's not what you'd call petite. And at times, you could accurately compare her punches to getting hit by a sledgehammer. What? Is this for real? Oh, 100%. Real. Oh, we'll tell like, you Godwin's advice yeah. after we get Yeah, started. we need your advice first. Everybody claims she does it when she likes somebody. From that claim, they must be soulmates. He's got bruises to prove his theory. What? And judging, you know, she's, anyway, she's a big gal. She's roughing him up. <laughs> so here's, here, his question to us was, should I choose love or personal safety? Please help. This is Aaron from Oklahoma. Well, well, and we've given him our advice. The word that was coming through my mind when you're reading that was run. I feel like he should just run in the opposite direction of that girl. That's scary. So Godwin's advice. Tell her, Martin. Godwin's advice was body slammer. That's right. Well, just give it right back to her. Hundred yeah. percent yeah. body slammer. Yeah. Get her respect. Body slammer. You'll be in. You'll you'll have a date. You'll be in love. She might be into be it though. And, she and might Martin, like it. Hey, and Martin, I, but he is, likes her. Martin's advice. He said, "Well, hey, if you take Godwin's advice." He said, don't go at it half-heartedly. Yeah. You got to go mean. ahead and really body slam her. Well, hey, when he tried it. He, <laughs> so he spoiler went, alert. There's hey. the oh, he tried it? He yeah. went oh, to yeah. body slam her. And look, and he didn't go whole hog, so he got he, he got body slammed. <laughs> and well, when been, he grabbed her to try to, she body slammed him. She went him. right back at him? Yeah. And yep. so far, they're happily ever after. That's right. Are they still that, together? That's yeah. only been a few weeks. Well, they've never yeah. been together. Oh. But, but he, so he went for it. Yeah, he he got nervous. He didn't got, do it wholeheartedly. He got thrown into a uh, statue of ramen at the uh, grocery store by her. They work at. Yeah. That's where they work. Okay, okay. And uh, then security came over because they were just wrestling in the grocery store. Apparently, um, be thanks to Godwin. <laughs> well, maybe they're. But now they're going on another. a date. Maybe they're perfect for each other. I don't know. You know what? Maybe hey, minivans and right. mullets is a great grocery store name. Maybe I missed it on yeah. the other deal. <laughs> yeah. Minivan, because that I mean, get they, thrown into a stack of ramen. I mean, I kind of you know. If if we ever start minivans and mullets, we'll hire them. Yeah, absolutely. We don't know her name, but she'll do all the heavy lifting. I don't yeah. know. I mean, he I know, won't. <laughs> I know her name. Her name is Playful. Uh, oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> I just love the fact Godwin said Godwin didn't even have to think about. It. He said body slam. Right, that's it. That's his body first slammer. thing, body slam. Right, At one point, he said, and if that don't work, break off a piece of two by four. Yeah. <laughs> Slug her with that. <laughs> yeah, her with that. I don't know what's okay, going on. Okay, we're not advocating for hitting women on this. No, on no, this no, no, no. I think Gobble okay. was like, kind of in like advocating for self-defense. Yeah. But at the same time, hey, man, if this works, like, you're, you're in. And Apparently, that's what Paula likes. Yeah. He said, sometimes you just got to body slam them. Yeah. 
But we don't man, know. My man went wow. in and short armed it, and he got body slammed into ramen. So, <laughs> into the you know, ramen. I just had to well, check. It sounds with Corey. like they're perfect for no, each that's other. A, I, I mean, I, my advice would be run, but you know, hey, there's somebody for everybody. I like a woman's perspective on it, you know, and I like the fact that it was the dead opposite of Goblin. Because <laughs> I was very confused when Goblin said "easy" when body slammer. I was like, yeah. well, what? But but I've always called Godwin a hopeless romantic. So like I mean maybe Godwin understands the 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 female. Hey, he hey he got more than go to more a, than we uh, give him male, credit. Male parlor. Who Godwin? Yeah. Oh yeah, he did. He is the reason we got pedicures. Yeah, that's right. He likes he likes pedicure. Uh huh. We all went. Yeah, yeah I don't nice. mind it. it was I, terrible. Got mine. I saw I saw a little video of y'all going, but I didn't know Godwin was the one who like. Yeah, he spearheaded the whole thing. He set it up. I yeah. even got mine painted, yeah. which was weird nice. to me, but. I had pretty feet, though. You really do. I, and I do. Hey, your feet are great. They don't really. Look yeah, as he's opposed got, to Phil's, who yeah, Phil has yeah. the world's ugliest feet. I gotta yeah. say, My we man. put a big picture of Phil's feet up yeah. just yeah. a few days ago. Yeah, on yeah. the podcast. <laughs> yeah. My man, Cy, yeah, I want to turn off viewers. Cy doesn't have like a blemish on his feet. Really? Like he got, yeah, he ain't got a corn. He ain't got a callus. Nice. He ain't got nothing. I don't. I guess because he lays down all the time. Well, I, I don't know. I guess because they don't get overworked. Nats. I don't really know. But hey, no, that's one thing you can't ever accuse me of. I know, but it is <laughs> fun. overworked. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Manor G. Krabs on that work. <laughs> no. You got one more. Or you want to close it with? A verse? I've I've already pulled up the verse. Oh, Wait, go ahead. Let's do it. it. Okay. Let's, let's roll. Um, my bad. <laughs> so anyway, I was thinking about the movie The Blind and what that's all about, and it's about you know Phil's story. Uh, that would not have been possible without Jesus Christ. And that verse is kind of an easy one to pick out. Revelation twelve eleven. they triumphed over him, talking about Satan, by the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, yep. and the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. So that's, you know, that's what it's all about. And telling people, you know, you, you tell them the Bible, but you also tell them what God's done in your own personal life. And we've all got stories some crazier than others, some worthy of a movie, and Phil Robertson's is worthy of rejoicing. It's worthy of telling because of how powerful it is. So we hope you go see basically his testimony play out on, in a movie. As always, you're welcome here anytime. I hope next time we have another new purchase to discuss. I don't know what it'll be, but I hope we get breakfast. We'll get Chick fil A. Yeah. Well, maybe it'll be the grand opening of Minivans and Mullets, but okay. we'll see y'all next time right here in the duck call room. We're out. <laughs>